Water worlds are keeping their secrets from us, but not for long. We've sent a veritable armada of robotic missions to the outer solar system and beyond. But two worlds, Europa and Enceladus, are of special interest to astrobiologists. Why is this? Because they both realistically could harbour life. Enceladus and Europa are moons of Saturn and Jupiter respectively. Much evidence exists for liquid oceans of salty water beneath layers of ice several kilometres thick. The discovery of molecular hydrogen beneath the icy shell of Enceladus suggests the presence of hydrothermal vents. This is inferred because molecular hydrogen is released from deep sea hydrothermal vents here on Earth, providing the basis for microbial food chains, which in turn feed other organisms. Strangely enough, the hydrogen and some interesting organic chemistry from this subsurface ocean was detected in space. The Cassini mission conducted a flyby, approaching the Celadus from a very low orbit. It sampled alien seawater from vast plumes which periodically erupt from the ice, reaching heights of up to 80 kilometres. The findings from examination of these plumes, as well as from Europa, put these places high on the list for astrobiologists. So what can we do to explore them? Missions are planned. The Europa Clipper mission will launch in the late 2020s. Like Cassini, the Clipper will attain a very low orbit and graze the moon, obtaining samples of the ocean which will be sent up by geysers and impacts. But what about exploring the actual oceans themselves? Whilst a technical challenge, much research is and has gone into ideas for some exotic submarine exploration. Some of the best designs come from nature, and engineers at Cornell University, for example, came up with a submarine robotic probe based on Earth organisms such as squid, lampreys and jellyfish. Taking advantage of so-called soft robotics, such designs would be able to take advantage of the high pressure and extremely variable environments they might encounter in their search for life. Other submarine designs are being presently tested and are a little more traditional, but no less high tech, such as this probe, which has been tested in an environment which could be quite similar to Europa or Enceladus beneath Antarctic ice in the Southern Ocean. The oceans on these worlds are deep, up to 100 kilometers. They contain chemical mixes suitable for the genesis of life. What else could be down there? Thanks again for watching Astrobiological, given you the universe of playing human. Subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications. That way you'll never miss out. See you next time.